Hello and welcome to another Salesforce and Trailhead tutorial with myself Jonathan Fox and today we're going to be going through the quick start with Aura Lightning Components. So what we're going to be creating um, th via this uh, Trailhead, we're going to be going step by step through what this tra Trailhead teaches us. So here we have an account record. This account record out of Cloud Salesforce Consultants and we've got the information pertaining to them up here. We also have the usual details of the account in the details section. We do have the information relating to the account on this related tab here. And as you can see, we have two contacts pertaining to this account. However, in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is showing how you can render those in a Lightning Aura component here at this side of the Lightning Record page. Now, Aura components can be used to render lots of different information. This is really simple and straightforward and doesn't really solve many business needs, but it's just to show you what Aura components can do. This Aura component is going to be pulling the contact's first name, last name and phone number from the account, so related to the account, and producing it in a list here. As you can see, this information matches. The way we do that is we go ahead, open Visual Studio Code, and this Aura component, this Aura Lightning component, consists of three different files. It consists of the component, the JavaScript, and the Apex class. Here we're capturing what attributes we want. We're saying what the event is, so when it is when the page loads it will carry out this action. This action is controlled within this JavaScript. Here we're saying what information we want to take from the page. So the record ID is what we're using today. And this is how we're going to present it in a data table within a Lightning card. Over in the JavaScript controller, uh, we have the columns that we're setting. And here, we're getting the contacts, we're setting the parameter to the record ID. So we're passing in a record ID, which is the account, uh, the account's record ID of which we are looking at at the time. And then we're passing back the results that we get to produce this list. Here is where we're passing the record, I, uh, record ID into, and we're, doing a, we're carrying out a SQL query to search for all the contacts based on the account's record ID. Making sure that it's Aura enabled, meaning that we can use the Aura model to produce this information for the Lightning component. And in doing so, that produces this component here, which is available via drag and drop onto the Lightning record page. It can be accessed here on the left hand side under custom, and it is a case of dragging and dropping it onto the page. I hope that little tutorial helped and can show you how Lightning components can really open up what information you can surface to the page on an account record, for example, or what you can do in general. There are a lot more complex business solutions that you can do with it, but hopefully this starts to get you thinking of what you, what you can achieve with Lightning components. Until next time, thank you.